if you can do anything else, do that. That would be my first, uh, my first advice. And then I would say, you know, you have to, you have to write uh, what you really care about, what you really, what you, what really uh, defines you and defines the people around you. And and if you if you write well. Uh, you know, someone will pay attention to it. So, you, you know, some people, because we live in such a media age, uh, a lot of writers that I know, young writers that I know, uh, you know, they want to write, uh, you know, they go see Iron Man and they want to write an Iron Man, you know, and, uh, and that's all well and good if that's what you want to do. If it's just commercial, if you just want to make a zillion dollars and then that's fine, but you know, to me, writing is is that's not writing per se. That's just you know filling up space as opposed to tr really trying to write stuff that that defines your generation. I think um, I think we all have an obligation to define the times we live in. However, whether it's through comedy or drama or poetry or whatever, you know. So you know, and and after that, getting. To be a professional writer is really, really hard. Uh, it, you know, getting an agent, uh, getting meetings with people, uh, getting publishers, all that stuff. It's just, uh, it really is hard. And you have to be, when I was young, uh, when, not when I was a teenager, but when I was about 20, a very successful uh, director said to me, you really shouldn't be a writer. You're not very good at it. And I was too stupid to listen to him. So my entire career is based on my stupidity uh, because any, anybody with a brain would have said, wow, this is a very important director. And he would know. And, and so, and I didn't do like, I'll show him. I was just like, no, he's wrong. I'm a good writer or I can be a good writer, you know? I was just too dumb to, and I couldn't figure out what else I would do. So that's why I said at the beginning, if you can do anything else, do it.